two meetings tomorrow, I believe the PLT at 10 o'clock and, and the Health Trust at 1. Um, when I saw that last week, I got in touch with Phil because he's kind of been yeah. our point man on these issues and asked him he, if he was able to do it, mm -hmm. mainly, you know, anticipating this tonight because I didn't know what his schedule was and I wanted him to know that it was an issue four or five days in advance, not the day yeah. before. Good. Phil indicated that he was available. Um, so essentially this is just um, okay. the objective of, of this being on the agenda is simply to approve Phil is representing us at these two meetings mm -hmm. um, and voting on our behalf for the whatever takes place election of directors or yeah. do we whatever. Need a motion, do you need a motion on that? Sure. I'll make the motion that we have Phil uh, represent us. Okay, I'll second that. All uh, in Phil, favor? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Phil represent us at what? Is it not PLT in both, the morning both. and 10 o'clock PLT in the morning, 1 o'clock um, Yes, yeah. I'm happy to second. Okay, all in favor? Okay, unanimous. In, in conjunction with that, uh, as I mentioned uh, to you and I provided you with a copy, um, I couldn't get the attachments through for Christina, but I was contacted by uh, City Councilor um, Catherine Cheney uh, late Friday from Dover, uh, and, from Dover and um, she uh, and the Dover councilors have been very uh, active in the uh, local government center matters. And she asked if uh, Hampton was going to be sending a representation to the meetings. And she asked if uh, we would certainly, we would consider her because she's basically running for a seat on the health trust board. And I told her, that she, she said she was pleased she could count on my vote. Well, I'm not going to be going up there voting. But I told her that I would be happy to recommend to my board that our representative, whoever that might be, and I didn't realize it would be Phil at that time, would um, enter uh, or support her nomination in our behalf. Dover has probably been the most uh, active uh, and enthusiastic um, supporter of going after the local government center. And I think uh, she'd make a terrific representative. I would love to see them on there. So if I may, I'd like to make the motion that we Before you make your motion, yes. can I make a comment? And Please. And you can decide if you still. Yep. I'm comfortable with, with us making a recommendation to Phil, mm -hmm. okay, as, as far as, as the board's feeling as to who he might support. Mm -hmm. But there is going to be information exchanged, events mm -hmm. that are not predictable mm -hmm. um, that Phil is going to encounter while he's up there. So uh, I think I, I don't I don't think we should bind him to a particular candidate this given is, that we don't know what he's going to run into up there. Is what, what is your feeling about that? Yeah, I I I, uh, I agree with both of you. And <laughs> I wanted to say that. Um, Are you diplomatic this I, evening? I wanted to say that uh, okay. Catherine Cheney is. Uh, um, in her fifth term in the Dover City Council. Yes. Uh, she's been a Stratford County yeah. Commissioner. Yeah. She has worked for both the Hartford and the Travelers yeah. and, uh, and Liberty Mutual. She's an outstanding and, uh, So she's a player. Yeah. And uh, uh, I am reading uh, Chris, uh, Chris Munn's uh, report issued in November for the final hearing on the LGC. And what they specifically are looking for is people with Mm -hmm. um, some more uh, experience in that are independent of the actual organizations themselves. So unless someone comes in and is a yeah. president of Prudential, um, <laughs> none of that's going to happen. She's a wonderful <laughs> candidate. She really is. I'd no, like to I just assume that my comment is I just assume not bind no. um, Phil to a particular candidate. I make a motion to consider this lady from no, Denver. No, no. I don't. How many seats are open, Phil? Do we know? Because I don't know that I, she's the only. I, I don't know there's just the one seat open. I don't, I don't know on the health, and uh, yeah. I've been drilling down with, with National right. Fred and, and this board on the, on the property liability trust, but I will keep an open mind and appreciate that input, and we'll consider that first line. Right. Okay, so do you, you're comfortable with a request that you strongly consider? Yes, ma'am. Captain yeah. Cheney. Absolutely. Okay. okay, moving along. Purchasing and policy amendment. Do you wish to defer this um, until next week or, or cover it? This is another situation where it was available on Friday. Mark provided some updates, and which I don't think substantively changed. Uh, I don't have a problem with the corrected. I don't either. You know, I'll so move that we adopt the corrected. I'll second. Purchasing yeah, I the policy paragraph. 
Dis discussion? Revision. I, I, have, I have one input um, that, that I think needs to change. Um, and I'll read the first sentence. When bids or proposals are received for the purchase of materials that total to 15000 or more, the purchasing department will document the bidders and so on. We don't have a purchasing department. Well, we so now. if we're going to place accountability, <laughs> accountability, <Good> has <laughs> next week, accountability has to be placed on, on an entity that, that exists. Just and wait. the way I, I see it, there are probably um, two choices, and I would yield to Fred as to what is more appropriate. I, I think the first thing that comes to mind is the department head, simply because that's where all of these are, are initiated. From, right. Mm -hmm. um, um, the department head is appropriate because it, they are initiated there. Right. So the we'll just put the department. We'll document that, that's whatever. Department. That is my suggestion: is to substitute department head for purchasing department. I agree. Okay. Yep. Do we have a second for that amendment? Sure, I'll second that. Seconded by Mike Pierce. All in favor of the amendment? Okay. All in favor of the amended policy? Unanimous. Okay. That was easy. Any other new business? Um, yes. I would like on the agenda, and I think I emailed to you, Richard, and I know you're swamped, um, a I'm discussion swamped. in... <laughs> I thought you looked like you were really snowed under there. No, um, I was just getting upset that I worked very hard <laughs> to get things out there in time, and I had and I my, 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 hard time. My, my associate, Mr. Pierce, all <laughs> over there, who, who seemed to be lighting it on. As if <laughs> Mr. Bean didn't help me a little bit. Right. <laughs> it's only nine o'clock and everybody's Lardy punchy. You know. Must be the weather. Um, I would like to uh, put on a one of our agendas in the reasonably near future a discussion on whether or not we should consider withdrawing from the Rockingham Planning Commission. I agree with that. I am prepared that to to so move at such time as you are willing to have a brief discussion on that matter. I do believe the time has come. So if you would be any kind enough to put any, that any wherever you want to Before we just move it. off of that, any, any comments? Yeah, I'll make a comment about that. I remember n not saying that my reasoning was well uh, founded back then, but I remember being on the budget committee several years ago and saying, why are we paying for this? What are they doing for us? Mm -hmm. And I, in the case to prove my position, they come in here with this big drawing how they're going to redo the intersection with the expressway in Lafayette Road, the Route 1. It's going to cost <laughs> millions of dollars to tear it all down so they can build this squared off thing like we have out in Kansas. What do we get out of it? We get a huge expenditure of money. We lose some of our identity of being kind of unique here in Hampton, New England town and all that manure, excuse <laughs> me, all that stuff. and. Uh, it just seemed like to me they come up with these ideas and it doesn't seem like they really seem to be too concerned about what we think here in Hampton. And to make it worse, it sounds like it's a function of the government. It is not. It's a private mm -hmm. entity yes. that sucks money out of grants from HUD and such places. Right. Right. Do we need that? No. no. Do we need more money spent at the federal level on frivolous things here in Hampton? No, it's nice to have money to spend, but let's spend it on the right things for mm -hmm. a change. And I think they're absolutely worthless. That's my opinion. Thank you. Um, and we're paying a planner and an assistant to the planner, and right. that's supposed to be. And it's fourteen um, or fifteen thousand dollars. Twelve a something. A uh, twelve. Well, whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. My my comment. Um, Are we going to? The the before we get to the point of saying we're going to put it on the agenda. My my comment is is that the interaction with the RPC, the role that they play, the budget for the, what is it, Fred, 10 or 11,000 or something like it's that? 11, yeah. It's 11,000 and change. 12,000 round figures, yeah. Yes. Is, is, is in the um, planning board. Yes. I, I have a, a problem with, 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 with this board making a judgment that we're no longer going to have a relationship with an organization whose primary interaction with the town is with another board. Well, let me, let me, let me just, because I'm, I'm, we went through this a few years ago right. yeah. in discussions <coughs> and we looked it up and it was a town meeting that voted to give the authority to join or not to join to the board of selectmen. 
Well, oh, I'm not questioning the legal authority. So, uh, you know, if you want to take an action, I suppose you can. Right. But and and it's, I'm not saying it for the for the le You know, to be honest with you, I don't. I don't feel myself that that I have a tremendous amount of knowledge in that area yeah. and what goes on. Um, you know, yeah. in terms of the interaction between the planning board and the planner and the RPC and whatever, and I would not feel comfortable in, in, in even, <coughs> even making that judgment. So my suggestion, okay, as a first step, rather than prior to us discussing it, is that Mary Louise raise that proposal yes, as an issue yes. at the next planning board meeting and that we get before we meet to start discussing it, we get see what kind of feedback that 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 Mary Louise gets from the planning board. May I, Mr. Chairman? Mm -hmm. uh, how much does it cost us per year to belong to this? Just under twelve thousand, Phil. Okay. Uh, I'm reading off their website, their mission statement. It's a uh, voluntary local public organization. Raise your hand if you do that. Um, <laughs> it's established on the law. Uh, its representatives are appointed by municipalities. The representatives set commission policy, not town of Hampton policy, but commission policy. Mm -hmm. They make monetary decisions. They're making monetary decisions that apparently affect the town of Hampton um, and decide what work the commission will get involved in. Okay. Commission membership is voted on at town and city council meetings and an individual mis municipality served. Uh, it, uh, it seems to be a, a, a duplication of uh, our, our own capabilities. You are correct. Uh, really it is correct. a uh, mm -hmm. another uh, central planning authority. You're right. Uh, the uh, membership uh, is anybody from Hampton on the Rockingham Planning Commission? Yes. yes. Who's on it? Fran McMahon is on it. Warren Banbury had been on it he for left 30 and years, and there's now so an open position, which I suspect after yeah. their next meeting will be well, asked I to fill. Isn't uh, Oh, what's her name? Uh, on there, the, uh, the the wife of the Barbara Bar Kravitz, Kravitz has asked to Kravitz, replace right. Mr. Bamber. Right. However, oh, okay. my point being, before the end of the year, I hope to, that we can discuss this and get us out of that. Uh, I'm just suggesting it's the first step. You bring it up. And may, may I just go on since you raised it and the website's up? Uh, their their membership services are they prepare and update a regional master plan. We have a planner. We have the Hampton yes. Beach Area Commission. We've yes. got our plan down there. Yes. They develop uh, and maintain model regulations and ordinances. Um, I think we, we do a pretty good job at that. Yes. They provide educational seminars and workshops. Okay, mm. uh, It's a maintenance of local, regional, and statewide statistics. I don't think we need that. Right. Regional transportation planning. <laughs> again, this is a, a central planning authority that, yes. that is yeah. uh, an encumbrance, perhaps, mm -hmm. which is, leads you to, to your sentiment. Uh, regional housing assessment. We have had some disagreements with some of those initiatives, Selectman Pierce. Yeah. Technical assistance with GIS and mapping. Nobody needs technical assistance with yeah. GIS and mapping anymore. Yeah. Um, maintenance of a library of planning books. We <laughs> don't need that. Assistance in ongoing regional household hazardous waste collection. I don't think we need that. Um, access to planning grants. We have a planner. Um, we, we have folks that can pursue those and assistance to local energy committees. Dick DeRoche is probably the finest energy guy with, with your uh, contributions. So that's that's what they offer. Um, and uh, again, it's $12,000 a year. And uh, it, it, it might make a good uh, decision not to, it, not to belong to them. It's not so much the dollar amount of the dues. It is duplication of effort. It is right. also uh, people who don't live here sticking their noses in like the Route 1 corridor. Uh, study and that we are paying a planner we have an assistant to the planner and I think this is a long long uh, overdue long uh, long past time to get rid of it uh, so if you want it on the agenda for next week well I'm I've been sitting as your representative member I got my arm twisted and I will <laughs> say I'm enjoying myself serving on the planning board and they're very nice <laughs> gentlemen and I have had an opportunity to see some of these things close at hand, and all they're doing is funneling grant money mm. to people who do not live in this community right. to bring in harebrained schemes, I'm sorry, like the Route 1 sub-district and triple sub-district and whatever the heck they're doing over there. So as far as I'm concerned, I, you know, I take it off tonight. But you want to put it on a what, subsequent what, agenda? What, um, what I would like to do is, is for as first step for you, 
to raise it <coughs> and express what you've expressed tonight to the planning board. I okay. Have. If the planning board disagrees mm -hmm. with that, mm -hmm. to suggest that the planning board set up an appointment with the selectmen, okay, to express their desires. They are the board that has most of the interface on this stuff, and they should have a say. One other thing I might want to add, I've heard, that this is not really documented proof or fact, that the Regional Planning Commission, in our case Rockingham, helps locate projects on the State Transportation Department's yeah, yeah. agenda. Yeah. So but one no, like might be able to argue that if you don't have their support, you're not going to get this road paved or whatever. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what, how many of you people feel about that's true or not. I've heard that rumor around a couple of times. So you got to be careful not to kick them in the teeth. But <laughs> I can't see what they've done for us. They haven't paved any roads like our bars lately. Right. I'm just suggesting I'd like to hear what the planning board. I'm not arguing the opposite side of right. your statements. I'd just like to hear what the you planning board. You just want board. me to get those poor okay. guys upset again. There you right. go. Okay. Any other new business? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will. They'll be upset. But that's all right. I can take it. Consent uh, agenda. I also move the consent agenda. Drink water, flowers, and design uh, for application for a retail wine license. By the way, they had a very nice float in the parade. Oh, yeah. And 38 Ocean Boulevard, leased land, the termination of the lease and the issuance of a lease on the same property to a new owner. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Any closing comments? Now why don't we adjourn so we can talk to Mark? Uh, no, I <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you're How many like to make a motion to adjourn? Uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. At 9, 10 p.m. I'll second. All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. So where, where are we? Um,